Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This video is going to be about a walk through the association tool, which is also called CVPCB. And it's the stage that you need to do between your schematic and your layout. So let's open up the launcher. And you can see that I actually have a different project loaded than we've been using before. We've mostly been using a blank project up to this point. But now I'm going to pull an old project of mine, which is still in process. Um, and we're actually going to look at it because it's it's got kind of it's kind of halfway done, and it allows us to see some of the differences, and and what we're actually working with here. So as a quick preview, this is just what the schematic looks like. So this is EE schema. This is what the schematic looks like. And so once it's done, once the schematic is at a place where you feel that you can, you know, start moving into layout, what you need to do is actually take all of the schematic symbols which are labeled with the reference designator and the footprint name, or sorry, the symbol name, not the footprint name. And you actually need to take this symbol name and then associate it with a footprint. And that is done with a tool called CVPCB, which is located right here in the launcher. So it's got a slight error just because of the uh, it's an older project. but So this is what CVPCB looks like. This window here uh, is all of the components that are currently in the schematic from the uh, schematic tool. And the way we know what that looks like is actually with the netlist, which is generated as part of the schematic tool as well. And there's a video about netlist. So what we can do is open up the netlist. We see that there in the, in the project folder, there is a netlist here. We can reopen it. And if nothing's changed, it won't throw any errors or anything. But then what it normally does is it gives you all of these different uh, components given by the reference designator. There's an index here. And then the type of component here. And this is this really associates with the symbol name. We see some common ones, bridge, capacitor, LED. These are all in, uh, those are ones that are, for example, in the device library. But then we need to also say, so for a two pin a two pin device like a capacitor, we need to actually tell the layout program how big that's actually going to be. So in this case, we're associating with an 0805 resistor, which is a imperial measurement unit of a uh, resistor size. Uh, but it's a surface mount component, 80 uh, 0.08 inches by 0 0.05 inches. That's the dimensions of an 0805 uh, resistor. So uh, we can actually take this and we can click on the first one here. And we see over here there's actually other options. So we chose this one right here, but we just as easily could have, uh, if we select again, we could have associated it with the, oh, I'm sorry, that was 0603. Um, so if we select this one, this was an 0603 up here, but instead we can associate it with 1812, which we did by double clicking in the left side column. So that's just a very, very basic way of, of doing the association. But let's go over some of the other buttons up top here. So this is the configuration, the select, selected footprint. So we can actually look at a preview of the footprint. We see this is what that 1812, SM1812 footprint looks like. And we'll do that again for um, more complicated footprints, just to see what that looks like. This, it does an automatic footprint association, which if you have your footprint data stored along with the schematic symbol, then it is possible to uh, just do an automatic association. This is a, moves between components that aren't yet associated. So we click it here and we see there's nothing actually associated. But if we remove, that's all associations. If we remove one of these associations, um, we could actually, we would select it, and if, if we hit this button, it would move to the next un, unassociated component. So that one just deletes all of them. This one actually shows you the available footprints uh, in a PDF form. And then this, these buttons up here are actually a group of three. And what these do is actually filter based on the component type. So we only see 17 footprints available over here. Well, that's because this is a capacitor, and the program knows that there's only 
so many footprints that are actually capable of going with a capacitor. This is a two-pin device, so these are all two-pin devices, and they're keyed to work with capacitors. Um, obviously, an 0603 and 0805 are generic components, or generic footprints, rather, but uh, the program does know that it's associated with a capacitor. So uh, what we could do is we could change it so that we th do it just by the footprint, uh, the, the pin type, the pin count rather. So in this case, right here, this is known just to be associated with a capacitor. If we switch to this, we see that many, many more uh, footprints are available here, all of these being two pin footprints. But we might not want to use a buzzer footprint with a capacitor. So that's why we filter usually by the actual component list. We could also look at all of them and so this is actually all footprints that I currently have in my footprint library. And this is actually, I could, I could try and associate any of these, but if I, if I click a 26-pin self package, uh, it would actually give an error once we go to the component or the layout tool. So we'll switch this back to an 0805 as it was. All right, so if we go into the Preferences tab, or the Configuration, rather, this actually shows you all of the different footprints and where we can uh, view them and which ones we can actually select from. So these are actually libraries that are very similar to the footprint or the schematic symbol libraries that we used in the schematic tool, EE Schema. Now there's actually a bunch of libraries for just footprints. And so if we go down to... We, we might you might not have watched the video yet about uh, footprints and just about what they are in general but if we go down to a much more complicated one here we can actually view the footprint so this actually allows us to view the selected footprint and we see this is a much more complicated footprint here so uh, this is the tool that allows you to take your schematic symbols from your netlist and then associate them with your uh, footprint files and then once you push that into your layout program, then the association will be made. And you do that by saving here. So this will actually save that link file. All right, future videos about the, uh, there's not as much to learn about the, uh, the association tool, the CVPCB, but there will be one or two other videos just about how to actually you know, start from, from a smaller netlist and, and get everything associated properly. Thanks for watching.